Let's bring in Evan McPherson, the Bengals rookie kicker, the 52-yard game winner. Feeling pretty confident there on the sideline before that kick, Evan? I, I would say it was. Um, and I think that's probably one of the most important things as a kicker to have is confidence. Um, so just to challenge myself with something like that uh, was was big for me. And just to know, you know, going out there that I had confidence in myself, my teammates had confidence in me to uh, to go out there and hit it. All right. So how did you say it to Burrow that uh, I guess we're going to the AFC title game or the other guys <laughs> on the sidelines? How did you how did it come out? Well, it, it kind of came about just because I was I had just taken my last warm up kick into the net and me and Brandon Allen were standing by the heater. And he was just kind of telling me, you know, you got this, um, you're going to make it, all this stuff. And and so Joe, um, you know, runs to the right, uh, falls down. We take a timeout. And I'm kind of walking to the field. And I turn to Brandon. I'm like, well, looks like we're going to the AFC championship game. <laughs> because, I mean, I didn't want to go into overtime, honestly. I think our team deserves, you know, to, to end it here, to not play more football, kind of get rest and – and kind of get ready for the next game. And so that I could, that's the least I could do. for. for <laughs> you're such a nice guy. You know, the generosity there that you want to make sure you're, you, you know, the starters don't play any more than they need to. Let me go out and end this thing. Do you watch the kick go through? <laughs> I, I did not personally. Uh, I watched it, I would say, probably in halfway. And then at the halfway point, I mean, the way the ball was flying and the way it felt off my foot, I kind of knew. Uh, that was probably going through, but obviously the, Clark Harris and Kevin Huber, snapper and holder, they watched it a little longer than I did, you know, just to make sure it didn't hit the quick left turn at the end like it did in, in Green Bay. What is the pre-snap routine for you? Uh, I mean, pre-snap routine, whenever I, uh, when I jog out into the field is, you know, we kind of get the spot on the ground and I kind of have a word with Kevin. I'm like, you know, Let's, let's, it's one kick, you know, let's just put a good hit on it and uh, just start on the right line. It's going to go through. And so, you know, me and Kevin, we probably have like a little conversation there um, and take my steps back and probably two deep breaths uh, right before I kick the ball. And that's kind of what I do. Any defenders yelling at you at that moment? Uh, not that I could hear. Um, I think Clark and the whole line could probably tell you a lot more than I could. Do you care if you're, you know, frozen? You know, they freeze you as you get ready to kick? Uh, no, not really. I think uh, at, sometimes I think it could be an advantage because, you know, uh, kickers typically, if we hear a whistle, we know we get a, like a practice kick. And so it's kind of like a mulligan in golf. Let's say you have your practice kick, you miss it. Um, you get to come back and, you know, kind of learn from that miss or you make it you're going to do the same thing the next kick. And so I think it's – honestly, it could help a kicker more than it could hurt him. What's the dis distance that you would tell coach, I'm good from here? Like, how 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 far back can we go? I think going that way, um, in that situation, I think – I think uh, Coach Simmons probably would have been comfortable from – he probably would have been comfortable from, like, 57. But I think I would probably would have been comfortable from about 60. I uh, just kind of last play of the game, um, kind of just go for it. I think probably around 60 yards because we were kind of going into a win there, just a just a slight win. I'm looking at the numbers here. I mean, these are these are impressive. You've had 11 field goals of 50 yards or more, most by any kicker in a single year yeah. all time. You also are 18 for 18 on the road this year, and I think your only miss was an extra point on the road. Does that sound right? That's correct. How the hell did you miss the extra point? I I couldn't tell you. I mean, I could tell you technically what I did wrong. I kind of dropped the right shoulder, left my hips open, and kind of pushed it out right. But, yeah, that, that one hurt because it was in the Vegas game, and, you know, I just came off hitting three 50-yard field goals and then a 48 – or a three 50-yard field goals. I had a 48-yarder in that game too. Um and to miss that PAT, it really hurt me. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and from that point on, I was like, man, this is the worst feeling ever. I, I think just going into it, uh, just so I feel like people overthink PATs a lot. And so just, you know, coming back and just being like, you know, it's a PAT. Come on, like you're not supposed to miss those. And just kind of locking in on those again. So I, that one hurt for sure. You're from Alabama. Did Alabama recruit you? 
they they kind of did uh, as a punter. And it, what was funny because J.K. Scott was on his way out at the time, and I had their coach kind of we were DMing back and forth, and he's saying, you know, J.K.'s leaving. This spot's going to open up. Is this something you'd like to pursue? And at the time, I was like, at the, I knew I didn't want to punt in college. I knew I wanted to kick field goals, and so they never really looked at me for for to be a field goal kicker, just kind of as a punter. So I'd say no. Did you leave? You left school early to go pro, right? Hmm, I did. Uh, that 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 normally doesn't happen with yeah. kickers. Well, yeah, for me, uh, the way I kind of thought about it is, you know, I'm doing the same thing here as I was in college. And some people might think it's actually easier in the NFL just because the hashes are moved in. Um, but I guess the stage is brighter. Um, but I would say, I mean, I'm – I'm doing exactly what I was doing in college. I'm kind of just getting paid for it now. And I tell you what, I'm having a lot more fun right now than I really ever have. So why do they make it tougher on college kickers with the hash marks? I don't, I never understood that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not really sure why they do it. Um, I don't know the, uh, I guess the stories behind the hashes and why they're wider in high school and then in college than the NFL. I'm not, honestly, I'm not really sure, but um, I can tell you honestly. Uh, Money Mac, that's your nickname. I I tell people they can call me whatever they want. Um, Evan's fine if you want to call me Evan. Money Mac, shooter, whatever. Shooter. Um, you ever heard that one? No, like well, shooter, I, shooter McGavin from uh, like shooter McGavin. But so Clark Harris, our snapper, actually came up with that one. Um, it was shooter McPherson. I think that was after the Kansas City game. <laughs> And it was funny because I was in the car with Kevin, our the punter after the game, and he was telling me about the nickname. And I was like, oh, so it's like um, kickoff for show, field goals for dough. Okay. All right. Drive for show, putt for dough. Yeah. We kind of, I like that. I feel uh, like kicker, kickoff for show, field goals for dough. Um, McFearless? That one's uh, unique. I, I do like that one. Um, how about uh, Kick Fearson? Kick Fearson. Uh, again, I think it's along the same lines as uh, Fearless or whatever you just, but yeah, I okay. like it. All right. I'm just, I'm, you know, we're workshopping this. All right. I got it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I, I kind of like Kick Fearson. I know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but I'd, I'd have to have your approval to go with it. I, if you want to stay with Shooter, we'll stay with Shooter. Like I said, you, you can call me whatever you want to call me. I'm fine with it. Okay. Whatever you like the most, you can just kind of roll with it. Are you checking the weather forecast in Kansas City? Yeah. So, I mean, that's we we looked at that um, probably before um, the Tennessee game. So, we just had an idea of, you know, what the weather was going to be like either in Buffalo or, or Kansas City if we were to win. Um, and so, I think it's supposed to be around 35, 35 to 40 degrees. It's actually supposed to be a pretty nice day. Um, winds are minimal, I think, and that's kind of rare for Kansas City, I know. Well, congrats so far. Uh, you know, rookies aren't supposed to be doing this, and you're not old enough to know all of the hardship that Bengal fans have had for decades in Cincinnati. So, you know, Joe comes in, makes it look easy. Jamar comes in, makes it look easy. You too. So congrats. Uh, a lot of fun and good luck in Kansas City. Yeah, no, thank you so much. And, you know, we're going to go out, we're going to go out there and, you know, give them our best shot and hopefully take a nice trip to uh, to California after this week. Do you think that there could be a moment where you turn to somebody and you say, looks like we're going to the Super Bowl before you go out and kick? <laughs> uh, if it comes down to a kick um, or a game winning field goal, you know, I'll make sure to say it just to, you know, challenge myself even more. And, you know, this is what I want for this organization is to go to the Super Bowl and, you know, hopefully win it. And so if it comes down to a field goal, you know, just know I'm going to, they're going to have my best effort and, uh, you know, I'm going to go out there with all intentions on making it. Congrats and uh, good luck in Kansas city, Evan. Yep. Thank you. That's uh, Evan McPherson, the Bengals kicker. Shoots. Shooter. Shooter. <laughs> I'm thinking, Shooter McGavin, Happy Gilmore, McFearless, Evan Kickpherson.